Good day, my name is Mike Perry from African Reptiles and Venom. Uh, today we're going to look at how snakes warn people audibly. So the first snake we have here is called the puff adder, very common snake in Africa. You can see what the snake is doing. The snake inhales air into the lungs, right through the nostrils, and then it forcibly forces that air out. And you can hear the sound that it makes. That's why we call them puff adders, because of this puffing sound they make. I'm going to take my mic off. I'm going to put the mic near the snake so we can really hear the sound. And he got a bite. <laughs> he got a bite on the microphone. <laughs> That's how cheap what the snake is. I was not expecting that. I thought the snake was going to carry on warning us audibly, but no. We had enough of this. So obviously, snakes use this uh, audible warning so that you give it a wide berth, stay away from it. They don't really want to mix with a girl in a fight, they just want to leave them alone. So this was a good example of the puffer. What you see is the puffer in its uh, defense position. They bring the neck in a tight U like this, facing the front. Sometimes they'll face the head 45 degrees down so they can see clearly to the front. Right, in this position here, the snake can shoot forward and strike. And sometimes the strike is so forcibly that the snake might even move slightly forward with that uh, strike force. Let's just get some, some more hissing from the snake. This particular snake is a female. It's got a very short tail. In another video, we'll explain to you more about that. But, uh, just a little part there at the end is the tail. Alright, we're done with this snake. We're now going to get the next snake and show you another snake that hisses. Oh. Yeah, it's good. The next snake we're going to look at that also uses uh, hissing as a means of warning is the uh, West African Gaboon Adder. Uh, it was hissing quite a bit before I put it down. It's now just examining the environment. But uh, I'm going to bring the microphone closer to the snake and see if we can get some action from hissing. <laughs> right, so this snake is both warning us, and if we don't give heed to the warning, it is striking. So, first the warning, and then the strike. So, this is how they operate. They're going to warn you, and if you don't heed that warning, they're going to do something else. Something far more serious than just a hissing warn. warning. He does not like this microphone at all. Check out its facing its head. Alright, that's enough. That's enough for today for the snake just to illustrate how they use hissing as a warning. The next snake we're going to show you is called the mole snake. It's a very common snake in Africa. It's a non-venomous constrictor, but they can be vicious. And this one is warning us. So I'm once again going to take the microphone towards the snake so you can hear how a non-venomous snake uses hissing to warn you to stay away.
There we go. That is your mole snake showing that it's not happy. It wants you to give it a wider berth. The next snake we're going to look at that uses uh, hissing as a means of uh, warning is the common night hatter, also called the rhombic night hatter. Very common snakes in Africa. They feed on uh, mainly frogs. That's their diet. And take this uh, microphone towards the snake and see if we can get some feedback from that snake. There we have it, some hissing from the common night adder. This, the small snake you're seeing here is called the spotted shul cobra. It's an elapid, so it's a snake with fixed front fangs. They are small snakes, but they've got very bad attitude. They hiss and hiss and strike with a large shield on the front of their nose. They just hit the target like that. They don't bite very often. We've recorded one fatality for this snake and a four-year-old child. So potentially they can be uh, dangerous to small children. I'm going to bring the uh, mic closer to the snake so we can listen to the snake doing his hissing. The snake you see here now is called the West African Sawscale Viper. Uh, these snakes cause a lot of snake bites. They also use sound as a means of warning you, but they do not produce it by inhaling and exhaling air. They do it by rubbing their rough scales together, causing a hissing sound. So I'm going to once again take this microphone towards that snake and see if we can get the snake to do its trick. So all that sound is produced by the snake rubbing the very rough scales together. They are called saw scales because the keel on the scale looks like the um, edge of a uh, hacksaw blade. And these scales are arranged obliquely. And when they rub those body scales together, you get that sound that sounds like a hiss from other snakes. So they do not hiss, but they just rub these body scales together to cause that sound. Once again, it's a warning. Stay away. The snake I'm showing you now is not an African snake. These snakes occur in uh, North and South America. Rattlesnakes, this particular species is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, the one you normally see when you watch cowboy movies. 
So these snakes do not hiss to warn you. They have a special arrangement. On the tail, they have a rattle and they shake that tail. They braid it. That causes a rattling sound. And that's how they warn that you're in their vicinity, that they want you to move away. So we're going to see if we can get this rattlesnake to do its rattling. It's bad luck. It's for Mike's only. So that noise is caused by the tail. The rattle on the tail, the tail is vibrated and it causes that rattling sound. So once again, it's a warning. The snake is warning you to stay away. But it's not a hiss, it's not tail rubbing. It's a special instrument on the tail, the rattle. So that was the Western Diamond Rack rattlesnake <laughs> vibrating the tail to cause that rattling sound. The snake you see is the Southern African Python. And as you can see, they are not very happy snakes. You can hear the snake hissing. Okay, we're going to see if we can get some sound from the snake. Nazis. So there you have it, uh, snakes 
warn us by making sounds. It is either hissing or rubbing their body scales together or if it's a rattlesnake vibrating the tail and letting the rattle do the noise. So that's an audible sound that can be heard from a few meters to even quite a few meters and when you hear it don't approach it the snake is telling you I want you away from me if you don't listen you could get hurt so it's always uh, good to heed the warning uh, unless you are obviously a snake catcher and you know what you're doing so if you want to become a, ca a snake catcher uh, please click on the link come sign up come do some training with us We've been doing training since January 2000. I've done training all over Africa. If you want to learn about snakes, you've come to the right place. Um, I've done more than 140,000 venom extractions from snakes. So this is the place to learn how to handle snakes. We hope to see you very soon at one of our snake training courses. Have a great day.